Okay. We want to do a short video on small hive beetles. It's September here in the Ozarks, and it, this time of year the hive beetle populations peak. So we get a lot of beginner beekeepers calling, worrying about hive beetles because they see a lot more hive beetles all of a sudden. Hive beetle numbers will always peak at this time of year. Just because you see a bunch of hive beetles does not mean your hive's in trouble. It's naturally what happens at this time of year. We have two hives sitting here. This one is in the full sun. This one over here gets more shade. And we just popped the lid on this one and found a bunch of small hive beetles that have all been chased at the very top of the hive by the bees, and that's a good sign. So even though I saw a lot of hive beetles, what I'm seeing is that the bees are patrolling the hive very well because all the hive beetles were pushed to the top of the hive, so that's good. We're gonna try to get a little more video here and show you some of the small hive beetles that we're seeing and show you that even though you may have a dozen or two dozen hive beetles running around in the hive, if the hive is strong, they will patrol it and it won't be a problem. None of the combs have hive beetle larvae or have been slimed or any of the problems that you associate with a hive that is declined in population and has small hive beetles being able to hatch larvae and start to destroy the hive. So we'll move on and see if we can find you some small They're on the last frame. And you see them running around. But the bees have pushed them all out to the frames where they're not using them. Now I can squash them. They do fly. They fly very well and they run from the light like crazy. Which you can use to your advantage in seeking out to kill them because you know they're going to run from the light. And these frames which have grooves at the bottom or the or the top, big problem for these grooves, the, be the beetles really like to get into those grooves. So even though we're seeing a bunch of small hive beetles, I'm not worried about this hive because it's strong and they've pushed all the beetles to the outside edges, right where the beetles can't do any damage. In total, we've probably killed 60 plus beetles. Okay, talking about small hive beetles. I get a lot of people asking how to keep from getting hive beetles and they wanna use some kind of chemical drown, ground drench. They wanna use nematodes. They wanna use uh, dichotomous earth, all this stuff to prevent the larvae from hatching in the soil beneath the hives. The adult hive beetle can fly in from miles. I don't care what you do to the soil underneath your hive, it probably won't have much effect on the population of small hive beetles because they will fly in from miles away. So no matter what you do with your stand, how you put it up, where you put it up, you're still going to get small hive beetles. That's just natural. It's like getting mosquitoes in the summer or fleas on your dog. You can't avoid them. They're around. You can take certain precautions of keeping your hive strong. Some of the beetle blaster traps or the trays that go underneath your screen bottom board have some impact on the small hive beetle population, but you're always going to get them. So it's just one of the ugly parts of beekeeping that we have to deal with and handle as best we can. This is, again, it's nobody's fault. It's one of those unfortunate episodes in nature. You had a hive that could take care of itself, but then it was in an accident and can no longer take care of itself. 